Alright then. I think that's it. Just uploaded my newest video, Unturned Part 2. That should be good enough for now. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break, and I guess we can finally put this thing to use. The good old 3D printer. Nothing should go bad, right? I'll just take a couple days off. Nothing will happen. It's not like the video will blow up or anything. Huh? What? Okay then, uh, part three. Modded. So after getting a decent actual reputation for the Unturned and the Unturned server community, I have returned for my third initiation of this set of tutorials, in which I am going to be teaching you how to add mods and custom items and maps, etc. from the workshop into your very own hosted server. In which, if you guys have not seen how to host a server normally, go ahead and click the first link in the description below. Nonetheless, let's get started. So, as we can see, um, we're going to be using the, dedicate, the Unturned Dedicated Server and Unturned. So, go ahead and just click on Workshop with the Unturned to find a mod that you want to install. So, let's say I wanted to download the Rattlesnake and the Lewis Gun. Two of actually pretty good weapons in this game, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and subscribe to it first of all, and then we're gonna go up here to the top where it has the URL, and we're just gonna go ahead and copy this URL. If you don't actually have this URL here, you need to enable it in your settings, in which I'll teach you how to do that right now. So what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and click View, which is in this corner right here of the Steam page. Click Settings and then click interface in which you then need to make sure that this box is checked to display steam url address bar when available this will allow it so that you can see the url bar in the workshop page once you actually have this url here go ahead and copy this set of numbers right here and what you're going to want to do is pull up a notepad and oh actually notepad is just my personal uh, preference, but then you're gonna go ahead and record what you want to do. So this is I'm just gonna put gun and Then put the code here now This is gonna be our list of mods that we're gonna want to put in So let's say these are all the mods that I want to do and then you're gonna want to go ahead and rearrange them into their own lines and with a comma after each of the codes except the last one now What you're gonna want to do is go ahead and go back to your library and go to unturned dedicated server click on the gear icon and click browse local files. This will bring up your file manager in which you can just go ahead and press on servers, whichever server you're using currently, and in this case I'm using the default one, and go ahead into workshop download config. This will bring up a text that goes around this. So if you go ahead and go into file IDs and click enter, enter again, and then copy over your string of numbers right into this slot. Now remember, you have to leave a space here and a space here, and a comma on each of them except the last code. Now, go ahead and save, and exit out. Now, you're gonna have to remember that if you want to use a workshop map, you're gonna actually have to set up the workshop map before you create the server. So in this case, I've already created my server, so all of this data is here in which we don't need anymore. But if you haven't created the server and you've just run from my last tutorial, you should be either here or with this text in which the server name is just going to be um, server for vid2, right? And of course, your port or this port will work fine as well. And what you're going to want to do is change the map in which we've already installed Elver into the code. So you can just go ahead and put the word Elver here. Now, this should actually just go ahead and work perfectly fine with any of the workshop maps. Be careful, it's case sensitive, as for example, Elver has a capital E, so use a capital E. PEI is all capital, so use PEI all capital. Now, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go back to U3DS and run this little unturned icon down here. Now this should go ahead and start downloading and running some stuff. And once you get to the bottom, you should see that it says downloading workshop item, etc. a couple times for each of the different 
workshop items that you're actually putting in. So you're actually just gonna have to wait until this is done. All right guys, so now that you actually have this open, which it should say the loading level, again, as usual, if you saw my last video, and after it's loaded and successfully version of the Lewis gun, it should have like some successful text for each of the different mods that you installed. Now, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is just launch unturned. And hopefully when you connect to your server, you should just be able to load in straight with all of your mods. Now, keep in mind, you do have to have subscribed to each of the different mods on the workshop for them to work, but you can launch your server just fine without them in, except for the map, of course. Let's get to that. Now, once that you're in and Hamachi is on, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, by the way, uh, with Hamachi and all that, go watch my previous video, please. It will make everything a lot easier for you. So once you're in Hamachi and you're in Unturned, go ahead and press play, first connect, and press connect. Now you see server for vid, and you're gonna go ahead and see that below it says map elver, more farming mod, and the vital psych blue is gone. So there you have it. That's all you really need to do. Now the the image on the left, on the on the right, sorry, that says map PEI and the picture of PEI is only a visual glitch for now. You're gonna have to go ahead and log into the server and refresh everything. So yeah, that's that. That's the entire process. It's really quite simple. I really hope you guys were able to follow it and I really hope that it works for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below because I will always be answering. So yeah, please tell me what you guys want to see next. Consider subscribing and yeah, this is Hedgy Tuning Out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.